Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Live. Hope you guys have had a great week. We have had some stormy weather this week and ready to have a lot more. I love stormy weather because we don't get it very often. I was hoping it wouldn't be storming while we do Facebook Live today because sometimes, you know, that can cause problems. But it's not here yet, so that's good. <laughs> All right, good. I see you guys jumping on. Let me share this over to my page. Um, let's see, do, 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 in the right place. All right, hello, hello Leah, it's good to see you guys. Hi Karen, thanks so much um, for jumping on today. We are going to play with the Shark Frenzy stamp set. Now, last week when I asked you guys what, what you thought we should do, some of you were like, yeah, sharks. And some of you were like, please, no sharks. So <laughs> I went with the sharks. If you don't like the sharks, hang around because I might change your mind. All right. But we can't like everything, right? I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's normal. But I will tell you that I had fun playing with this. So I hope you'll stick around even if you think you don't like this set. Um, this week, I'm also using two host codes. Hopefully you saw my post yesterday. Um, I'll explain a little bit about that in a, a minute for those of you that don't want the shark stamp set or the shark make and takes, but you want to put in an order um, before the catalog is gone. Uh, let's talk about that real quick. We are in limbo right now in the Stamping Up world. We are straddling two different catalogs. Um, right now, we are finishing up this catalog. This is the 2020-2021 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. You guys know, hopefully, that this is retiring, going away as of Monday night. Um, there is a list of things in here that are leaving that will never come back. <laughs> and some of them have already sold out. Lisa, don't get that song in my head. We're not gonna sing the baby shark song because then we'll all be singing it all weekend, right? <laughs> um, I will come back to that. Anyway, this catalog is gone Monday night. Some things have sold out. There's still a lot left. I went through there earlier this week on the website to see what was left. There's a lot of things that are still left and a lot of things that are marked down. So I want you to make sure that you head over there and check out what's gone. You can click in the store. Um, up at the top, I think it says what's what's happening, what's new, or what it, what's on sale, special something. There's only two little tabs there. And when you click it, it'll say last chance list. Click that, and that will show you everything that's leaving. Here's one thing that I want you to keep an eye out for. Things like bundles that aren't necessarily retiring like this one, the cute little um, Hippo and Friends, is that what it's called? Hippo Happiness Bundle. The stamps and the dies will be in the next catalog, but they will not be offered as a bundle. You can still buy them separately, but you won't save that 10%. So if there are bundles in here that you have been wanting, you gotta get them now, because that bundle price only is in the very first catalog that they're in, and it doesn't carry over. So make sure you check that out, okay? Last time, we're gonna see it. You know what, all of my stuff's already in the garage. It's done, I'm, I'm ready to move on. Um, but there were some really good things. That, that catalog, I would say, is one of my all-time favorites. This is a good one. Um, now, here's the new catalog. It's beautiful. If we were in a classroom, I'd say, now raise your hand if you've received your catalog. Hopefully you guys have gotten it. If you requested one from me, they've all been mailed. Um, the ones that come directly from Stampin' Up! go bulk mail, so they're a little bit slower. Um, Dee had emailed me yesterday. She had received hers many days ago and her mom hadn't received hers. Um, they were shipped at the same time, but lo and behold, her mom showed up. So just be patient if yours hasn't showed up. You're welcome to email me and say, hey, did you send it to me? Um, and I can double check. If you think that I didn't send you one or you don't have a demonstrator and you would like this catalog, please email me and I'll be happy to send you one. Um, it doesn't come with a spiral, that's just what I do to mine, but it's a great catalog too. The new in colors are fantastic. Um, there are some fun things. I actually made, do I have it? Yeah, let me show you guys. I sat down 
um, and made my wish list on this giant like calendar paper. Look at my wish list. Yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> How am I gonna decide what to get first? I put stars by things that I really, really like. So those will be the things that I get on my first order. Um, and I've kind of sketched out our Facebook Fridays for the, the summer. So if you guys have a special request for Facebook Friday from the new catalog, let me know. I have picked some for class to go, some for club, and then some for Facebook Fridays. So let me know what you guys are liking from that catalog. Okay, so that's that. Oh, you know, here's the dates. So you have until Monday night to order from that one, the retiring one. And then starting Tuesday morning, I think like at 12.01 a.m. Mountain Time, you can start ordering from this one. So they say there's not going to be any downtime. That it's just the website's just going to magically change over. So if you are a night owl on Monday night, make sure you... Um, check it out. Someone just asked, I, that just went by too fast. Harriet asked, what are you, your new favorites? I wish I could open the catalog and show you guys, but I will tell you that the little baseball hat, that's the one that keeps popping in my mind. I think that's going to be a Facebook Friday real quick. Um, it's called Hats Off. And I feel like there are a lot of critters in this catalog, a lot of cute little animals. Um, there's also a space an astronaut set. I don't know if Jen is watching. I haven't seen Jen on here in a while, but my friend Jen works for NASA and she loves anything and everything space. So I don't know if she has seen this catalog yet. Um, she's going to go crazy, um, but they are so cute. Um, oh, the baking sets, the two baking sets. There's one that's a bundle that has dies and then one that's just a stamp set. I'm already telling you, those two are going to be a class. Like, I am going to go crazy with those. You know how I am with the 3D projects. So those two are going to be a class, all right? So those are just some of the, my favorites. Um, there are new pastels in the back. You might have missed them. Um, they're chalk pastels. Is that right? I don't know if I'm calling them the right thing. I know that they have been around for a long time, and but we have not had them since... I don't even know when I became a demonstrator 12 years ago if we had them, maybe. But um, I am excited about them because, let me see if I can, uh, I don't know where they are. Um, because I don't think, here they are. On, if you have your new catalog, page 126. Um, soft pastels, yeah, they're chalk pastels for coloring. Um, I'm interested to play with those. Y'all know my mom and my daughter are both artists and um, they will be able to give me lessons, I'm sure. Y'all should see, my daughter's a senior and she's been working on her AP art portfolio. It is amazing. And my favorite that she did, I believe, was with pastel, chalk pastels. I may be wrong, but I mean, it's amazing. So anyway, they'll be able to teach me. Lisa, the plants are my favorite. I can tell you that I have the peaches as our class to go in... Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm going to have to look. Peaches and the plants. Those are boom, boom. Two new things. Thanks, Lisa. You know, I notice I always look like I'm wearing black, but I'm not wearing black. It's pink and navy today. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Here is the May All-Star Tutorial Bundle. I tried really hard this month to keep up with this and send it out um, every few days. It's really hard because I can't go over to Stampin' Up! and just copy all the email addresses of everybody who ordered. I have to, you know, pick and like go in, copy, but it's a mess. So sometimes I drag my feet on setting these. I apologize. So I was trying to get better at it. This, I know I haven't sent it this week, so I'm gonna set it over there and send it as soon as we're done. You earn this for free with a $50 purchase from me. All right, it's 12 tutorials with the cactus, um, uh, what do you call it? Product medley from the spring catalog. And it, um, they're all designed by different demonstrators. Here is my project this month. It's a post-it holder. They all are video tutorials. It's also available in my PDF store if you want it. Whenever anything goes to my PDF store, it's there forever. Um, sometimes you guys will email me and say, is your class such and such PDF still available? Yeah, PDFs are forever. They're there in my PDF store forever. So this one is there forever. If you decide you want it, it'll be there. Um, that end, This one ends today. So that means we have a new one, and I literally, it's hot off the press. 
Are you ready to see next month's? It is the Ice Cream Corner, right? Ice Cream Corner All-Star Tutorial Bundle. So all the purchase, everybody who orders in May will get this for free with a $50 minimum purchase. Um, videos, they're all video tutorials and all designed by different demonstrators. Uh, my project this month, and it kind of got messed up. Let's see if I can get it straight. There we go. Strawberry Ice Cream Hershey Kisses. And it just so happens to hold a gift card. Wouldn't this make a great teacher, well, I can't get it out, a great teacher appreciation gift? That's next week. I should have done something. I didn't do anything for teacher appreciation. It's a weird time right now for me. Trying to get ready to go out of town in two weeks has got me bonkers. Anyways, this is free for anybody who spends $50 starting tomorrow. And if you're a subscriber of my All-Star Tutorial Bundle, I'm actually going to mail this out to you today because tomorrow is Saturday. All right, what else? Um, when is the seventh? The seventh, oh, is actually Wednesday. So this is the last time I'm gonna tell you about Club Create um, for May, okay? Club Create for May is gonna feature the Pansy Patch Bundle. Did you hear that? <laughs> the Pansy Patch Bundle. Club Create is a subscription. Um, you can join and cancel anytime. Um, but if you stay for six months, you get $25 in free product um, on your sixth month. But every month I send you five make and takes um, and $20 in products. It's usually par a partial pack of the paper, a full bolt of ribbon, a full pack of embellishments. Um, Karen, yes, the answer to that is yes, but it's not in my store yet. The new one, it will be there maybe tonight, okay? Um, Club Create. So you get four cards and a 3D usually. So for May, the May Club Create, we're using the Pansy Patch. You have to subscribe, Denise, you have to dis you have to subscribe by the 7th. Cutoff is the 7th, okay? Um, and this month especially, I'm going to try to get these out before I go to Maui. Um, it's going to be really hard, um, but I think I can do it. So if you would like the Pansy Patch Club Create Kit, $39 um, and $20 in product, five make and takes, video and PDF is what you'll get. Um, you can cancel anytime. You can sign up anytime. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, you know what? Let me tell you guys. Um, I wrote all this down, so I'm going to tell you. Usually by this point, I already have the following month's Club Create designed, filmed, ready to go. But because of the catalog transition, I don't. We can't order everything, so I don't have everything. What I have down for June Club, oh, is the plants. So that's what it is. The plentiful plants will be Club Create in June, and you're a peach will be a class to go in June. So if you're looking for those, um, if you want to know what Club Create is for June, it's the plentiful plants from the new catalog. Um, I don't know if I will be able to get that designed before I leave, but just know if you subscribe to Club Create May 8th and on, that will be the one that, you, that you're subscribing to. Okay, so you have until Wednesday to subscribe to Pansy Patch Club Create. All right, let's move on from there. Hey, Paper Pumpkin, gosh, my Paper Pumpkins were so late. I literally just got them, but I have a bunch of them. This month is really, really cute. It's called So Cool. Um, if you need one, I have. I've sold about half of them, but I do have some left. This month is the Ice Cream Corner um, little project. So let me hold it up to you. I just opened it. Um, these so cute so so cute um they were designed for with kids in mind but that doesn't mean they're necessarily only for kids but they are good to do with kids so if you're looking for some summertime activities for your kids this would be a great kit it comes with everything you need except the clear block um my kits don't have a clear block in them but it has a the stamp set look it's look if i turn it that way then it's not backwards but if I, look, I don't know. I know that probably doesn't make sense to you guys, but that's the back. But because the video, it flips it. <laughs> that one looks wrong. Anyway, it's got, you've got the stamp set and a spot. This month, the spot is Bermuda Bay. These are $25. That includes shipping. 
Ashley, you haven't gotten yours yet? They take forever. And I got one. I should have showed you all the box. It looks like the box was squished. I mean, it, like an accordion. Y'all know how I feel about the Postal Service. We won't go there. Anyway, if you want one of those, please email me, erica at pinkbuckroo.com. Um, and I can invoice you and get those out quickly. All right, moving along, moving along. What do I want to, we're almost done. Okay, Denise, again, Denise, I want you to know that you are again Facebook's choice to show me who's watching. If you guys don't know, Facebook's doing this weird glitch where it picks one person who's watching you and it just fills up your screen. So Denise, 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 every week it's Denise. I don't know, they must know that that she's my assistant and they want me to know that she's watching. <laughs> Denise helped me get ready for this big sale we're gonna have tomorrow, okay? Um, Facebook Friday kits. Every week I package up the make and takes for everybody who put in an order. And then I usually cut a couple extra in case they, they get lost in the mail, which again, we know happens. Um, so I have a box in my garage and I throw them in there. Um, and if somebody emails me and says, I didn't get my kit, then I have extras to send, right? But then majority of the time that doesn't happen. So that means I have a ton of them left. So Denise took all my um, Facebook Friday kits and bundled them. In each bundle, there are four Facebook Fridays worth of projects. So that means that there are 12 make and take kits in each bag, bas yeah, bag kit. They're all random. They're going to be from February, February 2020 through, I think that's right. Yeah. Last February, all the way through last month. So they will be mix and match kits all over the place. Um, they are packed. You, they have, a, each one has a label telling you which Facebook Friday it was it has a link and a date if you want if you need to you know search it to find the the video. Um, you guys know my blog and YouTube channel have a search box so you can always search that or you can Google Pink Buckaroo uh, Cactus Facebook Friday and it'll come up. That's how sometimes I find old projects of mine is I go to Google and I Google it. Sometimes it's easier that way than trying to find it in my blog. But anyway, Denise packed these all up for me. I've got. I think it counted 55 packs of these. That's a lot of projects. Um, they're random. You can't choose. You can't say, please send me such and such. They are sealed, ready to go, random. I'm just going to randomly choose them. So these are going to go on sale tomorrow at noon. The last time I did this, they sold out like in an hour. Um, this time I have twice as many, so that's good. Um, so they are $35 a pack, and that includes shipping, okay? You can buy two packages. Um, you can buy one, but you can then only buy two because shipping-wise, that's how much I can fit in a package. I mean, I guess you could go back and order another two, but they would ship separately. Um, anyways, $35 each um, tomorrow at noon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send out an email at noon with the link to buy them. And then about an hour or 30, maybe 30 minutes later, an hour later, I'm gonna post it on my blog. Um, so it pays to join my email list. Um, you will find that, I'm gonna update this post with that link to sign up to join my email list. Um, if you go over to my blog on the right side, actually at the bottom of every post, there's a button that says join my email list. And over on the right side as well, I think it says newsletter on the right side. Um, if So if you want to be one of the first ones to know, that's 12 o'clock central, okay? And um, they'll be ready to go. There are no pre-stamped images. Last time I did this, several of you reported me to Stampin' Up! saying that I was mailing pre-stamped images. There are no pre-stamped images. I never send pre-stamped images. Um, I do send a, a tag, a thank you tag in each kit. Okay, but that's not for your projects. That's just a thank you gift from, from me. You will need the stamp sets and the dies, whatever, that I'm featuring in that. Um, so like for this, these three, you would need the zebra. Or substitute whatever you have. If you don't have a zebra, use a, I don't know, whatever you have, the goat, whatever. Um, they're easy to substitute. So anyways, 
Are you guys ready for that? Tomorrow at noon. I'm suddenly not seeing any comments. Why? 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 I don't know what you guys are saying. Look, you said a lot of stuff. I didn't see it. Okay. So, Kate, that's driving you crazy too. Yeah. It's like two months now that that weird glitch is going on. I don't know why they can't fix it. Anyway, this is tomorrow. You guys, be ready for that. Um, oh, In Color Club. In Color Club, today's the last day to sign up, you guys. In Color Club is a five-month subscription also. You get a different in color every month, and every month you get like $60 worth of product in that kit, and a bonus free embellishment, and a handmade card. Um, and then at the end of the five months, you get... You'll have every product for all the five new ink colors. Today's the last day to sign up for this. I'm going to start sending invoices tomorrow for this. It starts tomorrow. Um, I will put in our first order uh, very early in the morning on Tuesday um, and then have them shipped probably right after I get back from Maui. Um, so make sure if you want to join in color club, you have done. So that link is on today's PDF. It's at the bottom of today's blog post. Make sure you have signed up. Okay. All right. Cause I don't want sad emails, you know, next week saying I missed it. All right. The last thing I'm going to tell you is the product shares. I have a ribbon share and a paper share that doesn't close until what did I say? The 14th. And those will ship the first week of June. Okay, so you have a little more time for that. Um, also, link, you have to email me for that link. Um, but the details are on my blog. Uh, so if you would like one yard of every single ribbon and one sheet, one quarter or half sheet of every new designer series paper, make sure you sign up for that. All right. Okay. Phew. I said it all. We're almost done. My table's almost clear. Um, so if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday, usually I pick one product and I do three projects. And that's what we're doing today. We are doing Shark Frenzy. And last week we had some discussion, right? We had some discussion about this. Some were like, yes, the shark. Kimberly even said, Erica, if anybody can make the shark cute, it's you. So I took that as a challenge, Kimberly. And then someone said, please, anything but the shark. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I went with the shark. All right, I think you're gonna really like today's projects. Now, if you want those make and takes for free, there is gonna be a host code for that. And you have, yeah, I will send them to you for free with a $35 minimum order by Monday at midnight central, okay? Um, now, for those of you that, that don't want to get those shark, you think the shark's ridiculous and you don't want it, make and takes, I still wanna send you something as a thank you. Um, so there's going to be a second host code today. The second host code is for those of you that are like, please, anything but the shark, <laughs> send me a free embellishment instead of the make and takes. Okay. So you get to choose. I've never done this before. Let's see how this goes. All right. Um, since it's right here at the end of the catalog, I thought let's do something fun and I'll reward you for your, your order. If you order with me by Monday at midnight, you can choose. You either get the make and takes or free embellishment. All right. Okay, so this is what they look like when they come to you. This is last week's. I do not pre-stamp the images. Let me say it again for everybody. I don't stamp anything for you. That's against policy, okay? You have to have the stamps and the dies for the flamingo. Let's say last week was a flamingo. But look, I send you everything else. I do the other die cutting, the scoring, everything else, okay? And it's free. I send it to you for free. And they look like this, all right? I think it's fun. You guys seem to really like these projects. It's like a, a card class, a weekly card class. Okay. And to go along with that, there is a PDF on my blog, pinkfuckery.com. Looks just like this. It has all three projects, has the measurements and the products listed. Um, you know what? I was watching a movie while I typed this last night, so I'm not sure that I um, did this on all of them, but I'm using a couple of sneak peek things. So I tried to put them in purple and I don't think I'm using anything that's retiring right now. I do not think so. But anyway, this PDF is under the third photo on my blog. The, the host codes are up here that you'll need for either the free Megan takes or I almost said that Lisa, either the free Megan takes or the embellishments. Okay. All right. Before I turn the camera around, how about 
some winner winner chicken dinner um if you share my video you get entered into the drawing for a free whatever i'm giving away last week it's two bundles irene shoby won the delicate petals irene i have your mailing address she's getting the dies and the stamps thank you irene and then karen quaddlebaum i have your mailing address too karen unless it's changed but i don't think it has I'm pretty sure I've emailed, I've mailed you stuff recently. Karen, um, congratulations. She picked the sunflower bundle. I will get those out to you guys probably on Monday, okay? This week, I have two more bundles. If you would like to win either the Friends Are Like Seashells or the Friendly Flamingo, look at that. Then just share the video on Facebook and let me know in the comments which one you would like to win. And I will pick a winner next week, all right? All right, all right, all right. My desk is clean. We are ready to get started. Let me flip you guys around. Let me flip you around. And my husband is thankful that I'm selling those kits. My, my Stampin' Up! business has kind of started to take over our house <laughs> there's lots of stuff everywhere and our garage included so he's always glad when i have some kind of sale am i out of tape i am out of tape um and so he'll be happy when i tell him that those facebook friday kits are leaving all right is that that looks a little crooked hold on let me see my ipad has a like about a 10 second delay so I always have to look. Okay, here are the host codes. Remember, if you want the make and takes, you use that host code. If you want a free embellishment, you use that host code. We're gonna see how that goes. I don't know if that's gonna be confusing. All right, I see my camera shaking. So I'm gonna turn my fan down. It's incredibly humid here. And I am like hot all the time now. I, I don't know, I think something with our house is super humid in our house. I went to a doctor's appointment this morning and I walked outside and it was cooler outside than in my house. And that doesn't usually happen. I don't know what's going on. Okay, here we go, you guys. This Shark Frenzy stamp set and die set is really fun. I ordered it pretty, pretty early when it came out in the spring catalog. And then I did absolutely nothing with it. Um, so Kimberly, I took on Kimberly's words as a challenge last week because it is cute. Now, I will, I will say that the words are not necessarily words that you would use a lot some of you would if you're a grandmother or a parent if you have maybe a preschooler um you would but the images are cute the fun thing about this stamp set is that it has all these little things that go with the shark and i'll tell you that as i made these projects it was like i was discovering new things every time um, there's like a little looking glass, uh, the glasses, the necklace. This right here is like the lipstick on her lips. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, a purse, eyelashes, a bow, a hat, a mustache, and bubbles. And then, of course, there are dyes for all of that. There's also a dye for fish, a dye for, look, a hat and a cane, a bow tie and a tie. And then we've got the little sea plants as well. So I think think this this um, bundle is underrated. I think we all kind of passed it over because maybe the sentiments aren't necessarily something we need a lot. Yeah, the bubble dye, Lisa, is really cute. We're going to use that. All right, let me get everything out and we will get started. The first card we're going to do is kind of a traditional what you would think of when you see this stamp set. Okay. I have a ton of stamps. This one, how many stamps are in this set? It is a lot. 22. It's a lot. Okay. I heard a dog in here. Oh, they must have gone away. I gave them their calm balls. Hopefully that'll keep them busy. All right. Let's see. We're going to start here with this card. And the photo on my blog doesn't include the purse or the little kissy lips, but because I didn't even see them when I first made this card. By the time I was on the third card, I saw all the cute stuff. So this time we're gonna add those, okay? 
The dyes have this really, um, two things you can use for water. We're gonna use this one to make those two. Then you've got this scallop edge, which you guys know I love a scallop edge, which you could use. However, I wanted to use these new basic border dyes. I am obsessed with these. Um, this one right here in particular can be clouds or it can be sea foam. So that's what I'm gonna use on the bottom. Speaking of this, when I was printing out that new all-star tutorial bundle, one of the girls used this as like dripping ice cream on her card, and it is ridiculously cute. So basic borders in the new catalog. All right, let's do, we're going to do all the stamping first. There's a lot of stamping. We're going to need to cut these and cut these. So let me make a stack. We're going to, we're going to need to do a lot of cutting. So we'll do all of that at the same time. Okay, let's stamp our mama first. Okay. Flirty flamingo. Yeah, that is my shirt color for sure. And then we'll do baby shark. Promise I'm not going to get that song in your head. I'm not going to sing it. And then I'm going to use Pacific Point. Now, my initial go-to when I started making this was blue, blue sharks. And then I thought, by the time I got to my second card, that sharks aren't blue, right? <laughs> They're gray. Eh, who cares? We're gonna have a pink, a pink shark by the time we get to the last card. All right, so you've got the outline and then you've got the fill-in stamp for each one of them. You could, if you didn't wanna use a fill-in stamp, you could always use your stamp and blends. I find it's pretty easy to line up, but if you have trouble, get out your stamparatus. Woo, that one was totally perfect. That one's a little off, but that one's totally perfect. Either way, they both work. Now, I'm gonna get the little necklace stamp. I'm gonna put that on Mama. And the little kissy lips, the little half heart. I'm gonna put that right there, okay? <laughs> so cute. All right, now we gotta get baby the baby's bow. This card says, sorry, Alyssa. Alyssa says she's already singing it. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to pretend like it's not bouncing around in my head too. Flirty Flamingo, Flirty Flamingo for these two. Um, oh, I was going to say something I forgot. Mm, what was I going to say? I don't know. I lost it. Oh, this card. I'm using I love you, mommy, because I thought that that would be a cute Mother's Day card. I know that we've got some grandmas out there who make cards for their grandkids. Wouldn't this be fun if you made this with your grandchild to give to their mom for Mother's Day? That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, I may give it to my mom for, did I say, what did I say? Did I say Thanksgiving? What did I say? Mother's Day? I don't know. Who knows what I said? All right, for the bubbles. Um, the bubbles are right here. There's solid bubbles and then there are these uh, outline bubbles. This is what we're gonna use. I'm, it's really hard to glue on because they're so thin. So I've got my adhesive sheet here and I'm just gonna put a piece of basic white on there. Ooh, it's getting dark outside. Those storms must be moving in, I don't know. And I'm gonna cut this. Uh, I don't wanna get my scissors gunky. I'm gonna cut this off. Um, those of you who have been ordering adhesive sheets, have you noticed a change in the adhesive sheets? All of a sudden, the adhesive is on the other side. Is anybody else noticing that or is it just me? Because it was that these, these were sticky, but now it's this part that's sticky. Has anybody else noticed that? They've changed it and I like it this way better. I don't know. Random observations. All right, so basically what we've done is turned that into a sticker. All right, let's close up. Please don't let me forget to stamp that before I put it on the card with dimensionals. Hi, Sonia. All right, let's bring this guy over here. I have so much to get done before I leave for Maui two weeks from tomorrow for the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. I have to, well, first we have a new catalog coming out, which is always crazy. Um, but I have this big training for my team that I, that I need to get done, 16 projects for each of them who have ordered the kit. Um, 
which is, and then the hard part, you guys, is that because we can't order everything from the catalog yet, we're, we're all just kind of waiting. And then it's going to be like this mad frenzy once we have all the product. I need to order for In Color Club. I need to order for Club Create because I want to get that out. And then so now I'm just kind of like doo -doo -doo, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I don't want to use anything that isn't new. So I'm waiting for new stuff to stamp. I know. It's such a such a sad problem to have, right? All right, let's cut out. That is the those are the bubbles. And well, I think that's all. That's all we'll do right now. Hopefully everything stays. There we go. Ooh, static. We are supposed to get, you guys know, I always tell you, it never rains here. It's hot. I complain all the time. And we get what our old weatherman, Steve Brown, what he used to call rain bombs. So it doesn't rain for like five months. And then we have like a rain bomb, which is what it sounds like, a deluge. We're kind of on the edge of the desert of Texas. I mean, that's always how I explain it. We're, you know, in between the coastal plains and the desert. So we kind of get that deserty pattern. Okay, I'm going to work on that in a minute. Um, but we're supposed to, we got some big weather, um, when was it, two nights ago. And now we're going to get, the, I saw a prediction that we could get up to nine inches this weekend, which is bad. <laughs> it's bad because it doesn't have anywhere to go except to flood. And we, we do, we do flash floods here pretty well, unfortunately. All right. So I've done the wave there. That's from the shark frenzy. And then this is the basic borders. I like the one from the basic borders because it's stitched. Oh my gosh, Jessica, hundredths of an inch. That's crazy. Yeah. I love rain and I maybe I love it because we don't get very much of it. Isn't that cute? Um, so I get very excited when <laughs> it's gonna rain. My family's like, you're weird. All right, now we're gonna do this one. So that one I did like that. This time I'm gonna do like this. And if your dies are bouncing around, moving around, um, use that post-it tape. It works really well to hold things in place. We had severe weather here the other night, and it was very exciting. Wall-to-wall <laughs> -wall weather coverage on the television. I don't know. I don't know why I get excited. My mom says it runs in my jeans, and my grandmother loved weather, too, so I guess I inherited it. Okay, now let's come over here. We're going to use our new blending brushes again. Yay! Um, I'm going to use this side, and we're going to use that Pacific Point. Thanks for the share, Sue. I appreciate it. Um, Pacific Point, and I'm going to run it over here first to hopefully get just a soft edge when I put it down. And I'm just going to do like a circle out. I don't really want a whole lot, just something kind of light. Okay. And these, last I checked, were in stock. Yay! Yay! All right, now I'm going to take my Knight of Navy stamp and blend and I'm going to flick with the brush tip some ink. Okay, because you guys know I love to do that. We're doing that twice today. So there's our card base, just a basic white thick cardstock. Thick. What am I trying to say? Basic white thick cardstock. I think I said it right. Thick basic white. It's our heavier weight cardstock that you use for card bases. There's a difference. All right, we're gonna put the Knight of Navy on here first. And then we're gonna put the Pacific Point. And I'm gonna put the adhesive this way because I'm gonna tuck my shark in there a little bit. Now, we're gonna stamp, before I forget, we're gonna stamp I love you, mommy. Now, if you wanted to do this for dad, just change it. Change, use the different accessories and put I love you, daddy. 
right? You could do it. Just leave off the necklace and put on the tie or something. Oh, I got ink on my fingers. Let's hope we don't get it on the card. All right, dimensionals. Hey, Emery, how are you? I was just telling them about our exciting weather. I don't know. I get excited about the weather. All right, so that's with dimensionals like that. Now, for Mama Shark, I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put her right there. See how I'm kind of tucking her in there a little bit? And then Baby Shark or Daughter Shark. Okay, we're going to put her right there. Now we've got... Um, our little things. So let's get the little dimensionals or flirty flamingo bow on her head. My girls used to wear big bows. Not anymore. Those days have passed. Now I'm lucky if they'll just take a shower and wash their hair. <laughs> All right, little, little purse. How cute. Now for these, I need to get these out of here. Where is this? Where's my pokey one? I have a, my pokey one right here, I think is, oh, there, that came out right there. And then that one right there. Okay, now remember, I put the adhesives. <laughs> and Marie, I would love that. I, as scaredy cat as I am, I think I would really love storm chasing. My brother actually has done storm chasing. And uh, he gets excited about it too. He just won't admit it. All right, now... See how easy that just peels off? And then you don't have to make a giant mess with your Tombow. And then one more. And I almost didn't use this one because I thought it was going to be, there's no way I could get that paper off because it's so small. But it really just comes off very easy. All right. Put your dies back on your magnet, Erica. Don't lose it. There's a lot of little dies in this set. Now, one last thing. We're going to use some twine around the top and we're done now again if this you don't need a Mother's Day card you don't need a dad a Father's Day card change a sentiment look through your other stamps and you that's what we're gonna do on the other two cards is I'm using sentiments from a different stamp set that coordinate pretty well but I just really like to it's almost like playing dolls or something because you can just add the little accessories on all right there we go there's our first shark card how'd i do pretty cute right i think they're cute these little guys i know hopefully i can convince the anything but the shark please people <laughs> okay let's see let's make room for Card number two. Now, card number two, I'm really excited about. I know, the little purse is so cute, isn't it? So cute. And the little, like, lipstick right there. I would not have known what that was, except I saw somebody's card on Facebook with that. And that's kind of what sold the set for me. <laughs> when I saw the little kissy lips or little lipstick, I thought, oh, my gosh, you got to be kidding me. So cute. Okay, now... We're going to do a technique on the next card that is new to me. I had never seen it before. And uh, my downline, Heather, posted a card with this alcohol background. And she said, oh, yeah, there's, you know, I found a tutorial on YouTube. And I was like, oh, my God, why have I never seen that? Look at it. It's so beautiful. So I thought, we're going to make some water. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. All right? Okay, so let me pull that tray over. I don't know what the name of this technique is. You guys know, I never know the names. Um, I'm calling it the water alcohol technique. <laughs> um, and we're gonna need some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I've got 91% and I got my cute little, I think it's a Pioneer Woman or is this from H-E-B, I don't know, little, little bowl and a water painter and stamp and blends now you could use multiple colors if you want 
I'm just gonna use Bermuda Bay, Bay because what I found is that the other colors were kind of run over by Bermuda Bay. It was such an intense color that um, it was, it didn't matter what other colors I used. So I've got a piece of vellum here and it's a quarter sheet of vellum. Um, and I have taped it down so it doesn't curl up. And I'm just gonna add color to this just in weird little scribblies, okay? Just boop, 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 whatever, blah, blah, blah. Add it all on there, okay? Then I'm gonna get my water painter and I'm just gonna dip and add the alcohol on here. The first time I did this, I went wild and crazy, lots of alcohol and all the color ran to the edge. So what I, what I found out is that less is more. It will continue to kind of grow as you add these little dots. Um, the other thing that I did is I let it sit and dry and then I did it again. So the color kind of built up and it was more all over the place. Okay. Now, one of the other things that you can do is get a straw and blow it around. Guess, I bet you didn't think you'd ever see me doing that on a Facebook Live, did you? It's like art class. We used to do this in my, in my uh, kinder and first grade class. All right, so there you go. That's it. Let it dry and then come back and do it again. The alcohol dries pretty fast. Um, look at that. You can see like the green separating from the blue. It's really neat. I just, it's kind of um, therapeutic. Like I could just sit here and dot, 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 dot all afternoon. And you know, then I would be, I would get to the point where I put too much, but that's okay. You just let it dry and add more. Okay. So for the sake of our television show, for the sake of TV, I've already got a piece. Okay. Isn't that neat? I just really, really like it. So that's vellum. And what I have found um, is that so I always struggle with how to adhere vellum because you can see through it, but I have found that our stamp and seal is just fine on lighter colored cardstock. If you use a darker colored cardstock, it might show through more, um, but I have found on this, like on a white base, it's totally fine. Um, if you, well, I cannot get that lined up. If you're using a darker color, what you can do is get Tombow and a sponge and daub it all on the back, you know, just kind of all over and then adhere it. Pretty, so pretty. All right, so now let's see. We're gonna do a little more. I have cut one of these. These are new dies as well, Scout Contour dies. Um, not to be confused with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. They're different, each one, a couple of them are stitched, but look at that one that has the, the little border. Um, and then this one actually um, cuts slits in the edge, which is cute. And then this one has dots. Also, this stamp set comes with this. You guys know I love a scalloped border. And then there's this coordinating stamp set that has flowers. So scallop contour dies, you'll see it in the new catalog. So I have cut out uh, this one, the second largest from basic white. I pulled in well done. And we're gonna use, you're kind of a big deal. I thought that was kind of cute for a shark. So we're gonna stamp that here in the bottom corner, just in memento. And then I'm gonna do some more flicking of ink. Where did I put my, did I lose it? My, oh, it's right here, hello. I'm gonna do a little more flicking of ink. Okay, this time I'm still sticking with that Bermuda Bay marker that I used. We're gonna use the other bubble die, the one that just cuts out solid bubbles up here in the corner so that you can see the water through there. All right, now we need to stamp our shark. And this time we're gonna give our shark a mustache because why not? Cute. 
All right, Memento Black outline. And you know, I'm gonna leave that out because I'm gonna stamp the mustache over here. It has a, a die as well. Um, this is the point when I was making my cards when I realized sharks were not blue. So I switched over to <laughs> gray. Um, I need to clean my stamp. Let me clean this real quick. This is my chamois. If you guys need a stamp cleaner, get yourself a chamois. Um, Mine's obviously drying up. Look, see, you need to keep it nice and wet. All right, now we're gonna fill him in with Smoky Slate. They really are neat dies, Shelby. The, the stamp set is great, the dies are great. It, I think it's a kind of a sleeper. Like I, I think people think it's like a little kid set and move on, but it's a good one. It really is. Okay. Now the other thing that we're gonna do is cut out some sea plants, sea grass. Let me get the mustache dye. And I've worked myself again into like a little six inch square here. <laughs> Let me uh, make some room so that I can get the cut and emboss machine over here. All right. Let's do our shark first. I think we can do the shark and the seagrass at the same time. Um, Shelby says, can you get 91% alcohol? I, I, I mean, I, why, why wouldn't you? Why couldn't you? They don't sell that? I mean, I, I don't think that's very old. It's from Target, I would say. I mean, probably bought it in the last year. And the, the other question to go with that is, can you use other alcohols? Can you use the lower percentages? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Um, we'll just have to experiment and try. All right, there's that guy. Put these back. Let's bring this over. Nancy, what an excellent idea. Why have I never thought of that? She says, I like to keep a Stampin' Spritzer full of water next to my chamois. Such an easy solution. Thank you for sharing that. It's sometimes the easiest solutions that are the hardest for me to think of. I don't know why. That's a great suggestion. All right. Get those bubbles and one more sea plant. And we are ready to assemble. There we go. And here's some bubbles that we're not going to use. You know, we could glue them on the inside of our card, or you could put them in your stamp case. And the next time you pull the stamp set out, you'll be like, hey, look, I have bubbles to use. Just save them in there. Okay, let's put it all together. Where's my card base? Over here. And we're going to use dimensionals because why not? Um, Samantha says, I heard higher percentage alcohol works better. I know that um, when I was using the spritzer with shimmer paint a long time ago, my spritzer was getting clogged up and I called Anne Marie and said, what the heck, why is this happening? And she said, you need the higher percentage alcohol. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about alcohol percentages and what's the difference, but I don't know. I would assume something along those lines. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a chemist. Somebody on here probably is a chemist could tell us. All right. Little mustache. I kind of questioned where to put that. I mean, right. It should go kind of under his nose, right? I don't know. I messed that up. Let me get another dimensional. Or is it supposed to go over his nose? What do you guys think? I didn't look in the catalog to see if there were samples. No, it needs to go under for sure. There we go. <laughs> He's cute. All right, a little bit of seagrass. We're gonna put Tombow, if my Tombow isn't clogged up. A little bit of Tombow. We're gonna slide 
that behind the scallop. And then we've got this one, and I'm gonna leave those little dots in there. And I'm gonna slide that behind him, kind of a little bit higher. And then this third one, I'm actually gonna tear it in half. Donna, what it says? <laughs> Donna says one gets you drunker. That is true. But we're talking about a different kind of alcohol. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, funny stuff. All right, there we go. Now we're not quite done because we got to use some embellishments. All right, so get out your playing with pattern resin dots. And let's add a few up here with our bubbles and done. I love this card. I think that's fun. I think he's cute and you're kind of a big deal. I think that'd be a great dude card. No bows or, you know, a woman, but I think it also would qualify for a guy card. I hope you guys like this. I really like this card. I think it's fun. Hmm. Okay, moving on. One more card. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock. My husband said, I may come home early today because it's going to storm. And I said, well, do not come home before 3, 15, 3.30, because I will be doing Facebook Live. I said, I don't get done by 3 o'clock anymore. I talk too much. All right, all right. One more card, and this one may just be my favorite. Good, I'm glad you like guys like it. I hope you'll try that alcohol background. It's fun. Okay, this card. Where's my other one? I have two of each. Where did I put it? because I like the other one better, and I'll show you why. <laughs> Did I lose it? Third project. I always lose stuff by the end. Oh, well, I don't know where it is. We're gonna make these little paint strip back um, drops, and I really want the other one, because the other one is centered better, and I don't know where I put it. Um, when I made this card, I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. So, um, my strips weren't exactly perfect. I went ahead and left it because I kind of liked how it was kind of wonky. I cannot believe I cannot find that other card. Um, but, uh, okay, Erica, give up, move on. I don't know. I have no idea where it went. I'll find it as soon as we get off. So the measurements I'm gonna give you actually give you five strips, but the five strips are too wide to really fit on the card. So four centered is better. Um, you could play around with the measurements, I think maybe, and maybe if you made, these are three, four inch wide. Um, maybe if we made them seven, eight inch, maybe we'll try that. Let's do seven, eight inch instead of three fourths and we'll see, because I, if we didn't inch, then it would be too wide. We'll play around with it. Okay, let's make our little paint strips first, or a paint, what do you call it? Those um, paint samples. You guys know what I'm talking about at the, at the hardware store? That's what these look like to me. All right, we are gonna start with brand new color, polished pink. I love it, love, love, love it. Polished pink, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Just Jade, Pacific Point, and Gorgeous Grape. Now I've got a piece of basic white that is four by five. And I'm gonna start up here at the top with polished pink. Right like that. And then I'm gonna do Calypso and I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna put it right there with a little bit of white left in between. All right, and then Daffodil Delight. You can start with a bigger piece of white and then cut it down if you want. But if you space them like this, you'll end up right at the end. And these strips are also three fourths of an inch by, I mean, I'm a little bit wider, four and a fourth. Okay, and last but not least, Gorgeous Grape. Mm 
like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, we're gonna use that fish, die, fish stamp set from the Whale Done stamp set, and we're gonna add a few fish, and I need to get my chamois. Swatch, color swatch, yeah. Paint chip, isn't that what they call them, paint chip? I don't know. All right, polished pink, I'm gonna go just twice here. All right, and then Calypso Coral. Oh, it's raining. Here it comes. All right, we're gonna do Calypso Coral. We're not gonna do this on all the strips because I think that would make it too busy. And then lastly, we'll do Pacific Point. And I did not clean my stamp very well. All right. This time I'm gonna go all the way across like that, okay? All right, now, originally I cut them three-fourths of an inch. This time we're gonna try it different. We're gonna do seven-eighths, which is just an eighth bigger. I'm gonna use this side over here on my trimmer. And I'm gonna cut them into seven-eighths of an inch Oh, I don't know, that seems pretty wide. We'll try it. I may have to cut them down again, but we'll try it. Seven eighths of an inch and seven eighths. All right, so this one's kind of left over. You could put that on the inside of your card if you want. All right, now let's get our card base again basic white I used basic white on all three cards today I want to get these back in order so that my pink is like that okay so let's start with the one on the left and we're gonna see I'm gonna do up and down and up and down all right so this one's gonna be up like that And then, oops, nope, we need to do this one. I'm doing dimensionals, of course. And then this one's gonna kinda go down, like that. And the next one will go up. Yep, I think this is gonna be perfect. Oh, come on, come on. I even thought making them kind of slanted, crooked, maybe have one popped over the other would be cute. Okay, and the last one. Yep, look at that, perfect. So make them seven eighths of an inch when you cut them. Isn't that fun? So fun, okay. Speaking of fun, how about a pink shark? Yeah, that's fun, right? It doesn't have to be correct. Let's make it pink. And we're gonna give her eyelashes this time. All right, so there we go. We've got the outline. Let me clean this. Why do I keep putting this back? No, I didn't put it back. Right here. <laughs> I know you guys lose things too. I know, I'm not the only one. I know you can laugh, but I know I'm not the only one. All right, polished pink. My polished pink ink pad has something black on it. I think it's a scrap and I need to get it off. It's bothering me. All right, line it up. Polished pink, our new pink. Look at that, it did a weird texture on it. That's cool. I think when I inked it up, it was a little bubbly. Do you guys see that? It. She's like a leopard shark. I'm totally leaving it. All right, now a black um, eyelash because she's kind of flirty. There we go. So cute. And then I'm going to use those little kissy lips again. Did I clean that last time? I did not. Let's clean it. And give her a little sassy lipstick. There she is, so cute. All right, let me let me close the ink pads before we have a disaster. 
because you know that's what will happen see look at that yeah it's a scrap and i need it's dragging that black into my ink pad what is happening i need to fix that asap all right sentiment let's do that and then we'll cut her out and we will be done all right there we go this sentiment also from uh well done hoping all your birthday fishes come true fun right i love fun sayings so much more fun than happy birthday all right let's get this on here um no i'm glad you asked that this stamp set is not in the new catalog it is in the current spring catalog and it will retire at the end of june so if you like it make sure you get it sooner rather than later because as soon as that retirement list comes out things start selling out and these dies have been on back order but i believe they're back i don't know if dina's on here i mailed your shark dies to you yesterday she, hers were on back order all right a couple of dimensionals for our little lady shark our sassy birthday lady put her right there and we'll put the sentiment i may need to trim that a bit let's cut that down just a tad right there right there yeah right there okay sure and there you have it how fun no embellishments i didn't think it needed it it's pretty busy and it's stinking cute so here is what it looks like with a three quarters of an inch here's what it looks like with seven eighths it makes a huge difference for just an eighth of an inch wow okay we made it to the end you guys and i didn't lose anything well i lost that card but i didn't lose any dies today so that's a win right all right, so we made three Shark Frenzy cards. I hope I, I um, convinced some of you that this is a fun set. Um, you know, I, I usually do a 3D and I could not find anything to go with this set. I could not find anything. Maybe this summer we'll be more likely to find things, but I couldn't find anything. There were some Shark gummies. I didn't wanna do gummies again. So and there was a shark lollipop, but meh, I didn't want to do that either. So keep your eye out for shark things this summer. I bet there'll be like some shark candies and stuff out for the summer that we could use. Okay, let's remember that there are two host codes this week. If you want the make and takes for free, your order of $35 or more uses this host code right here. Um, if you don't want the make and takes, you're like, the shark is not for me, but send me something anyway, use this host code and I will send you a free embellishment. Now you can't have both, right? You got to use one or the other. You got to choose. I know I'm very mean and tough like that, but that's the rule. Okay. Um, <laughs> orders have to be in by Monday at midnight, $35 minimum. Uh, if your order is over $150, you don't use the host code because then you'll get stamp and rewards. And then I will send you both the embellishment and the make and takes. All right. How about that? Uh -huh. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Stamp and rewards just to review. Let me pull out my old catalog. If your order gets to 150, you're going to need to know this because come May, there's going to be some pretty awesome host reward type things. Um, that I will tell you about next week. Um, here it is, stamp and rewards in the back. Basically, we used to call this host reward, host rewards. Now it's just stamp and rewards. This is just for hosts, but if your order is over $150, then you basically are a host and you get to get freebies. Um, $150, then you earn 10%. So if your order was $180, then you would get $18 in free product. And that's when you can buy the the host exclusive sets or anything. It doesn't have to be those. Um, in the new catalog, there is a pack of paper in the host rewards that is the best pack of paper in the whole catalog. It is awesome. And it's $18. Only host rewards can buy it. So just letting you know, you might want to save up your orders or get with a friend, right? And put your orders in together and split that paper because it is awesome. 
So if you order between now and Monday at midnight, your order is over 150, don't use the host code. So you'll get these free rewards. If you use the host code, it's not gonna give you those rewards. But I will still send you the make and takes and the embellishment for free, okay? Okay, you guys, the next time I see you, we will have a new catalog. Let's see, the catalog goes live on Tuesday. I might do a bonus live next week. I don't know because I am going to be pedal to the metal trying to get things ready before I go out of town. So maybe, maybe on Tuesday, fingers crossed. We'll see, okay? Don't hold me to it. You guys, let me know if you have questions. Um, remember to watch for that email tomorrow at noon if you want to buy the extra Facebook Friday grab bags, all right? Have a wonderful weekend, you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.